Hey, thanks for tuning in. My name is Muhammad X, and this is going to be a YouTube tutorial about using DEATH or DEATH.NET, which is an Ethereum code viewer. So we'll quickly go to their main website. So here's the actual website, DETH or DEATH.NET, and you know they have a, a bunch of interesting tools, which is the type chain and Ethereum code viewer and the ETH SDK. The focus of this particular tutorial is going to be on the ethereum code viewer now why it's something interesting is because i'll, I'll get to the demonstration is you know it, it it sort of pulls the contract and all of its import statements and its directory structure you know which is declared at the top of the contract and it puts it into an online vs code type of environment for you to have a look at so i'll get to that so uh, a little bit quick uh, word about myself my name is muhammad x and i'm basically a security enthusiast and uh, we'll talk about uh, what is going to be the content actual content of this entire tutorial so we're going to be talking about what is death.net and we're going to uh, talk about their gitcoin grant continuous uh, running a gitcoin grant application uh, we're going to talk a little, little bit more about the ethereum contracts code viewer uh, how it fits into your actual audit workflow like why is it important to you and then we'll run an actual demonstration so, uh, very quickly what is df or death.net you know it's uh, as i mentioned earlier all of these three things and ethereum code contracts code viewer which is the focus of this particular presentation and then and they also have this type chain which are TypeScript, uh, TypeScript bindings for ETH smart contracts. They also have an Ethereum SDK which is a type safe lightweight SDK for Ethereum smart contracts. Uh, I have not used it. Uh, I did run some tests and what I can tell you is that it requires uh, several dependent dependencies in, in order for it to work. Uh, then uh, going forward a tool is very useful and I have found a lot of use into it and uh, so have a Gitcoin grants application which is continuously running. So they have a, a Gitcoin running grant application at the moment and if you find it useful i highly recommend that you actually donate generously for the upkeep of this particular project what is the the ethereum contracts code viewer so in my opinion when i i have started using it i have found these pros and cons so the biggest pro over here is that when you load the contract by default as i mentioned earlier it will pull all of the contracts into the code viewer uh, in preserving its directory structure so this this is uh, uh, important when you actually run your analysis to understand how the contracts are interacting with one another and more importantly in its github repository how exactly you know it's structured it's code style viewer it helps you for importing and examining that contracts and once you import it, you can edit the code and copy to this nation it is quite similar to the online vs code viewer so this is the vs code development environment and this is actually run by Microsoft I'm not really sure you know what is the status of this particular project but it's just something to let you know that is uh, this is an online uh, uh, you and you can install some some of these uh, you know uh, extensions but so and there's some I have found certain cons while using this particular uh, you cannot actually install any any VS code plugins uh, this is not the VS code dot dev which I just showed you earlier I'm, I'm getting to the death dot net uh, actual demonstration and you know it's only basically a viewer so if you want to actually run some any further analysis then you have to actually sort of copy the contract or you know pull the contract pulling the contract is you know subject is going to be a subject of another video once i uh, once i get to it then another important point is where does uh, where does this actually fit into your into your workflow so here you know this is just a an anecdotal workflow which is sort of what i've derived from you know several uh, places which i have researched and basically you can see you have the phase one which is the recon phase and the phase two is actually getting the contract to run some analysis and then you have the third phase to actually identify the vulnerable functions you know such as pay and transfer from etc and uh, the important point is here in the second phase after you run your thorough reconnaissance of the project to understand what it is and uh, what kind of value it's delivering and how it does all that so we get to we get into the actual an analysis phase so in the analysis phase here in my opinion is where you know death.net will give you some real value and i will uh, and i'll be showing that as i mentioned earlier also you can see that it it pulls the contracts and all the contracts mentioned in the import statement into the code viewer and the only con as i mentioned earlier is that the plugins cannot be installed the standard vs code plugins so now for the actual demonstration for this demonstration we're going to be looking at contracts for which we are legally authorized to examine via the immunify bug bounty platform so this is the immunify bug bounty platform and i have chosen the MakerDAO uh, project so in the MakerDAO project in the project details 
they have mentioned which are the assets which are in scope so these are the assets which are in scope this is going uh, this layout links to their actual uh, github repository which has the code for their particular token so what i want to do is i want to look at its deployed version now what MakerDAO has done is that they have set this uh, tool up which helps us to see which are the uh, uh, contracts which have been deployed so we are looking for mcd die dai that's the one so we're going to click on the show button and we're going to open it up in etherscan so once it opens up in etherscan here is the actual contract uh, here is the actual uh, token which we can examine you can see there's a balance in there and uh, they have some other stables and also the actual contract which is the focus of this presentation so here we have the uh, here we have the entire contract and the contract uh, application binary interface the ABI and the, uh, the contract creation code or the EVM bytecode so in order to use death.net it's very simple you just come towards the end of the uh, e the either scan address and just replace the IO with DETH dot net so why once you do that uh, this is the actual uh, death or DET DETH dot net uh, application and what it has done it has just pulled the contract into this vs code style viewer so here we have for our examination we can look at the codes and look at each one of these functions and as i mentioned earlier you know it's uh, it's it's just a viewer so none of this other stuff works because the search f the search works you know with its regular expressions but be beyond that near this or none of this actually works so it is just basically a viewer now in the case of this particular contract there are no import statements in the beginning where at the top uh, declaring uh, you know that it's calling other contracts so this is why it hasn't actually made a direct uh, made any direct restructure or pulled any other contract so in the event that there is one it will actually uh, populated for you over here so once you have the contract over here now there are multiple ways of actually you know pulling this out uh, for your analysis now the most common procedure so the most common method is you know you can just copy the code uh, and put it into your development environment so over here I'm just going to make a new file called die test dot soul and I've, I'm going to copy it and there you have it and you know and then you know you can run your whole workflow in which you can um, write some new uh, exploitable contracts and connect it with uh, web3 with um, with metamask which is a web3 wallet and then uh, or you can do it via remix.ide which is another uh, development environment and do your tests so this is one way of you know importing the contract now the other way is if you like to use a tool so for example a tool which is most commonly used is this called slithers which is a static solidity analyzer you can check out my youtube there's a whole uh, presentation on how to use this what we are doing is we're going to use this tool this tool in in addition to running some quick analysis it will also pull the contract uh, at local storage and i will show you how that uh, actually works so this is the actual contract well, let me get so here we are back to that tool which shows all of the contracts which have been deployed by MakerDAO and we're just going to open up the ether scan uh, like I did earlier so here we have it and I'm just going to be the contract address uh, which is which feeds into the uh, arguments of this particular analyzer and we run it so on it you can see that it has actually run its analysis and it, was, it has given us some interesting facts to look at as I mentioned earlier, you know the uh, what this tool is and and what is its output. I've made a whole another presentation on YouTube uh, profile for that, and you can see it has pulled it over here uh, in the our directory called Crytek export and the Etherscan contract. And here is the actual contract which it has pulled. So as you can see, it's a, a very simple way. It's a very easy to actually pull the contract to actually use Death.net and uh, I, I i use it all the time and i encourage you also to also to use it and as i mentioned earlier if you like this uh if you like the tool please donate generously to their gitcoin grant application thank you for taking the time for going through this tutorial and i will leave you back to more important matters uh, if you like the video do you know a subscribe like and all that stuff uh to you know uh, stay updated on new new videos which i will post on topics which i find interesting thank you very much this is mohammed x